Well, that's, um, you know, we've piloted it up north, and, you know, my approach is to get directly to the students and the teachers, the educators, and give them that hands-on experience on the projects with some high-tech kind of science and high-tech uh, technology so that they could get, an, get, get a sense of what they can do in different career paths like computer science, engineering, or biotech, and, and, and hopefully get them interested directly into going down some career paths in STEM, which we sorely need. Uh, you know, right now we're importing uh, talent from outside the country in STEM, and we really need to get these kids going into those career paths. We're trying to uh, bring that piece to, you know, collaborate with the educators to bring that piece to them. And I think the, because you don't wanna, they're able to program in elementary school. They're able to do microcontroller programming in middle school, and, and so if you wait till they graduate high school, it's almost too late to spark their interest. They've kind of, their path is somewhat, they're already kind of thinking, well, I'm gonna, I'm not really sure what I wanna do. So you really wanna get them early and get them excited and keep it going with them. Uh, but there is a, a huge shortage. I mean, you, um, that's why a lot of businesses are, like I'm a business person, that's why I'm doing it. You know, we, we cannot hire, uh, there, there isn't enough people in STEM career pathways to hire. So you see at, at the national level, the big, uh, the big issue with uh, foreign visas that Google and Apple and all those guys and Facebook are trying to lift, uh, increase the, the uh, number of um, visas because they're not getting enough people they can hire, which, which you know, and, and that's a very big deal because they're, so the jobs are there. There are so many jobs in this area, high paying jobs, great jobs. I mean, working at Google and those places, it's, it's fun. So, uh, you know, for, to the parents who want their kids to do well and <laughs> not stay at home and live with them for the rest of their life, these are great opportunities for their kids. And I, so, uh, you know, my, my objective is to do it this way, which is to directly go to the kids, give them the experience, get them excited. Hopefully they go home to their parents and say, geez, I like to do more of this, and then the parents kind of help them down that pathway as well. So we're also going to be trying to show the parents, you know, um, help them for more things their kids can get involved in to keep the spark going. If they need information on, you know, what, a, you know, you should start planning if you're going to college at grade eight or grade nine, you know, we'll give them little tips on, you know, things that they should be doing with a timeline, uh, what financial options are available if things look too expensive. Uh, trying to make, help the families to achieve the goals once we get them interested as well.